Okay, anak-anak, welcome back to video number two. Alright, just now we have stopped at the introduction of currency arbitrage. Now, let's proceed to uh, two currency arbitrage in details. Okay, so I given to you, I, I given to you here is two quotes in two different countries. One in Kuala Lumpur, another one in Singapore. So, what are the quotes given to you? In Kuala Lumpur, we have ringgit Malaysia per Singapore dollar, bid and ask rate. While in Singapore, we have Singapore dollar per ringgit Malaysia, Malaysian ringgit. Also, bid and ask. Okay. So, uh, there are difference in quotes lah. Why? Because in Kuala Lumpur, ringgit Malaysia is the home currency. While in Singapore, the Singapore dollar will be the home currency. So, we cannot see clearly, alright, either the Kuala Lumpur is cheaper or sing, uh, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia ringgit is cheaper or not. So, in order to do that, we have to convert the rates into, in, into the same form of goods, okay? So, in order to find... Whether it is cheaper and beneficial to trade Singapore dollar 10,000 in Singapore or not, we shall first determine the SGD per ringgit Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. So, in Kuala Lumpur, what do we have? Ringgit per Singapore dollar. So, kita nak dalam form yang sama. So, let's convert. How to convert? We will do this one over. Do you still remember the recept, uh, reciprocal uh, calculation? In order to get the bid rate in Kuala Lumpur, we will use the ask rate here. So, 1 over 2.2753 ringgit. And then to get the ask rate, okay, for Singapore dollar per ringgit, we will use the bid here. Okay, so finally we get the value, alright, Singapore dollar per ringgit Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so now how much... Money do we have in our hand? We have Singapore dollar 10,000. Okay? So, this is amount yang kita nak trade. At the end of our trading, we hope that Singapore dollar will be more than 10,000 ringgit. Barulah kita untung. Okay. So, let's take a look at these two codes. This one kat mana? This one in Kuala Lumpur. And this, these two codes are in Singapore. Alright, let's take a look at the figure carefully. In Singapore, alright, 1 ringgit of Malaysia equals to 0 0.4292 Singapore dollar. Alright, the bid. Okay, let's take a look at the bid rate in Kuala Lumpur. For 1 ringgit Malaysia, alright, it is equals to Singapore dollar 0 0.4395. Sama juga dengan us. Alright, Value kat sini, 0 0.4306 per 1 ringgit. And this one, Singapore dollar, 0 0.4409 per 1 ringgit. Okay? Alright. So, you have to take note. We have to take note. Be at the end of the trading, we want to maximize the amount of Singapore dollar. Modal asal kita, $10,000. Singapore, eh? Singapore dollar. Kita nak jumlah tu lebih. So, when we compare the cross rate, kita tengok ni. Alright, kita samakan ni, kita tengok. We can see that converting ringgit into Singapore dollar in Malaysia, kalau kita convert kan, alright, duit Singapore ni, alright, ke dalam ringgit di Malaysia, we will get more Singapore dollar at the end. Okay, what does it mean? It shows that, it means that ringgit ni sebenarnya, alright, is cheaper in Singapore. Alright, it's cheaper in Singapore and currently more expensive in Malaysia. Alright, maksud expensive tu macam mana? Alright, dia macam ni kita tengok eh. Uh, ignore my alright, I will have a lots of alrights in my video. Okay, alright. Alright lagi, okay. Uh, okay, so kat sini, okay, kita ada duit apa? Kita ada Singapore dollar RM10,000. Okay, kalau dekat Singapore, alright, kita boleh beli satu ringgit dengan harga 0.4292 saja betul tak uh, this is on kita bila kita beli uh, ringgit kita cuma perlu bayar 0.4292 kalau kita beli ringgit dekat malaysia kita kena bayar berapa singapore dolar 0.4395 jadi dia lagi murah di sana sebab si, duit singapore mahal duit malaysia yang murah so it is cheaper to buy malaysian ringgit in singapore alright 
once we buy Malaysian ringgit in Singapore, okay, lepas kita beli kat Singapore, what we will do? Kita akan bawa ke Malaysia pula, alright, dan convert balik into SG, SGD. Kenapa? Sebab di, di Malaysia pula, 1 ringgit dapat 0 0.4395. Are you with me? We will get more Singapore dollar in Malay, Malaysia. Okay? Alright, so how to solve this question? Therefore, alright, okay, first step, by using the Singapore dollar 10,000, okay, we will buy ringgit in Malaysia in Singapore. So, that 10,000 ringgit of Singapore dollar, alright, kita akan bahagikan dengan, since we buy, bank akan sell, okay, kat mana ni Singapore? So, we will use ask, since we buy ringgit, Bank will sell, maka Singapore bertemu Singapore. Do you still remember what I have taught you? When the amount of currency dengan exchange rate in the same form, kita akan bahag bahagi. So, how much ringgit will you will get? You will get ringgit Malaysia 23,223.41. Okay? Alright. And then, lepas kita dapat ringgit 23,000 lebih ni, kita akan beli balik Singapore dollar in Kuala Lumpur. Alright, so bila kita beli bank akan ju, jual. Okay, so kita akan guna rate ni. Rate ni kita tak pakai pun. This rate, alright, that we have calculated is just to compare. Alright, it is beneficial or not to trade the Singapore dollar, dollar in this two market. So bila kita convert balik, kita beli balik SGD di Kuala Lumpur, we buy Singapore dollar. Alright, so bank will sell. See, kita dapat 10,206.75. Alright, dollar. So, to, the amount of profit that we will get is is how much? Ha, ambil ni, jumlah last kita dapat tadi. Minus the 10,000 initial capital kita of Singapore dollar. This is amount the profit that we will get. Okay, so that is two currency arbitrage. Let's continue to our uh, video number three.